All right, so to be honest, when I started this detail, I was really surprised with the condition of the car, not only just because of how dirty it was, but actually how good of condition everything was in the car for a 200 plus thousand mile car. I mean, that's insane when you think about it, how good of condition the seats were. They weren't like stretched on the bolsters from getting in and out. Everything was really well taken care of, despite the dirt that you're seeing here. It's actually not bad at all when you think about it. Now I've pulled a lot of seats from cars when I detail and to be honest these were the weirdest ones I've ever pulled because they actually hinge out from the front so you have to unbolt from the rear, tip them forward to get them out of the car. Now this car had actually been sitting inside of a garage with the windows down, which is why we're seeing so much dust and everything on the floors and the carpet and on the different parts of the car itself. So just vacuuming transformed the carpets alone before we did any extraction, which was really cool to see. Now I'm trying to get all the vacuuming up front and that even includes vacuuming the front seats that are pulled out of the car and I'm starting with the driver's side, kind of working my way around to the passenger side of the vehicle. That way when I get to extraction, I don't have to worry about hassling with vacuuming as well. Now, even though that there's no pets that were actually in this car, I still like to use a pet detailing brush on the interior fabrics because the carpet fibers do get loosened up. There's human hair that gets in there. It's still a worthwhile thing that you can kind of hit pretty quickly to get any of those loose fibers out in this stage. Now for the extraction of any of the carpets inside the car, I'm actually using the Chemical Guys Lightning Fast. It's one of the many different types of products I like to use, but Lightning Fast does a really good job at getting stains out pretty quickly when they're kind of like coffee, organic type stains. Um, and if you guys notice from the first shot in the video of the black light, that is one of the main reasons why I picked it because it's really good about removing bodily fluids.
Now, one suggestion I received from a subscriber is putting conditioner in your rinse water inside your extractor. I tried that and it actually worked out pretty well. It was only a small amount to test it, but overall I was actually pretty impressed with how much less foam I had when I poured out the waste fluid. Now for these front seats, you can see on the sides of them how much staining it is between the center console area on the butt portion of the seat and then up on the top part. I would have never got to that bottom portion if we didn't remove the seats from the vehicle. So this is one of the main reasons why I like to do it, just to be as thorough as possible when it comes to my details. Now for the drill brush, I'm actually using a softer drill brush. Because these seats are as old as they are and because the seat fabric is a lot thinner than the carpet, I like to use a softer one first. And if I need to go to a medium one for any sort of reason, I can, whereas you know going the opposite way is a little bit less effective. Now you might be wondering why the seatbelt is hanging out the door in the background, and that's because the way the seatbelt's attached to these seat brackets, it's more effective just to kind of extend them out, close the door to keep them from retracting, and then just work it on the table. So sometimes with detailing, you kind of have to be you know, a little bit creative with how you get the jobs done.
Now with most fabric seats, you have to worry about the fact that if there is a stain that is, you know, say it's Coca-Cola or coffee, something that's spilled and soaked into the foam underneath the surface, when you extract, you're pulling that stain to the surface as well. So you're pulling the surface stain off, but then the lower stain is actually coming to the surface as well. And as you go through the drying process of any fabric seats, those stains might become visible again. So kind of be on the lookout for those if you're doing your own seats and you might have to just hit them again with a light surface type spray, like maybe it's Folex or something at the end after it's dried to get that surface stain off without resaturated even further to bring that stain even more back to the surface. Now it's hard to see from these before and after shots of the door panels, but the door panels actually pretty much changed colors, um, but the white balance kind of threw it off here. It was crazy to see how much dirt was lightly coated on the surface that was hard to see until it was cleaned up with the all-purpose cleaner. I do want to say thank you to everybody that participated and bought brushes during the Labor Day special I was running last two weeks. You guys literally purchased more than I could have ever imagined. I was up late packaging all of these orders myself and the notes and the letters that I got back from you guys on how much you enjoy the brushes. It just, it means a lot to me and the support is just amazing. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that helped out Fox Clean.
Now for the driver's side carpets, you can probably guess that some of these stains weren't able to come out and that's usually pretty typical with carpets that don't have any sort of floor mats down because of the heels from shoes and just over time, you'll eventually cause a lighter color fabric to change colors and it soaks it in so heavily that the only way to really fix it is to dye the carpet again or replace it. So there are carpet dyes that after you get them completely clean, you can almost spray paint them and re-dye the color back. But without doing such thing, you really can't get some of these stains out because of how embedded they get into the fibers. Now, like I mentioned before, those stains that get embedded in the foam underneath the surface, when I'm spraying on the carpet cleaner here on this rear bench, just watch the transformation of how much of that stain comes up just from getting it wet. At the start of this detail, I was pretty convinced that we were dealing with a light tan, almost whitish interior. But as we went along, I realized it was more of a light gray. As I went through the extraction process here, you can definitely tell the difference. It looks like it might be tan, but it's definitely a light gray. Thank you. 
So like I mentioned with the rear bench, this is definitely an area that I went above and beyond with how much extraction I did just because I was worried about those lower stains being pulled up to the surface during the drying process. And actuality, they did at the very end. I didn't actually show it here because I let the car sit overnight and dry. But the next day, I just kind of sprayed on some Folex, scrubbed it with a brush, and then used a microfiber towel to dry it. So if you do run into that yourself, don't worry. You can take care of it. Just use a lightly sprayed Folex or stain remover that you spray on the surface, and then just wipe it clean with a microfiber towel. Now, considering this car is a 2007 with over 200,000 miles, I think this thing looks brand new again and ready for a ton more miles on the road, which leads me to my question for you guys. Let me know in the comments below, what cars do you guys have that you've ever driven over 200,000 miles? How many miles have you put on it? Me personally, I've had a 240SX that I put 200,000 miles on. I bought it with 130 though. Um, I've had two Integras, both of those made over 200,000 miles. And then I've had a Honda Civic hatchback, which you guys might remember if you've watched my channel for a long period of time. That one also got to about 197, I think, before I swapped in a B18C. But regardless, let me know in the comments below what cars you guys have gone over 200,000 miles. And I wanted to say thank you guys for all the support, being part of Stoffer Garage crew, and I'll see you guys in the next video.